any infrastructure which uh, sort of leads to urban uh, uh, debottlenecking of the urban traffic normally leads to a positive re-rating in real estate prices. However, the current uh, coastal road which is planned in uh, Mumbai is from Nariman Point to Kandivili, it's a 35 km road on the western suburbs. So the prices in the western suburbs is already pretty high after the 2003 to 2010 boom. There is a bit of inventory hangover there. So I don't see significant increase in prices coming in. Anyway, the project is going to take 3 to 5 years coming because of this. Uh, if the economy improves, etc. in the next 3 to 5 years, combined with this, then possibly the prices might rise. But uh, currently, just because of this, I don't see prices running away on the western suburbs. Uh, as per the current nod which the government has given for the project uh, to uh, reclaim 90 hectares of land um, uh, the, uh, from, from the current uh, uh, scope of the project, it is meant only for the road, uh, the, the big coastal road and there are supposed to be some green areas and cycling paths. So there is not going to be supply of housing coming on that 90 hectares and hence uh, prices are not going to get uh, dictated because of that. It, it will definitely solve the commuting problem a lot. Yeah. So, so today, uh, uh, going from Bandra to Kandivili, which is half the uh, distance from uh, Nariman Point to Kandivili, it takes about two hours uh, in peak, peak hours. People are moving from the western suburbs to central suburbs uh, uh, in the last one year because of that. Right? So, so uh, definitely such a project will uh, solve the commuting problems a lot. Western suburbs has about 50% uh, of population of Mumbai uh, with a 30% area. So density is pretty high. Right? So uh, this will definitely go a long way in solving the commuting problems. Uh, as uh, far as the sea view is concerned, well, the sea is going to go 100 meters away for the people who have uh, buildings, existing buildings right now. So to that extent, uh, they will see the sea, uh, they can view the view as well. Uh, but no buildings are going to come up uh, in that uh, 90 hectares or 100 uh, meters there. So they'll, they'll be seeing the sea but slightly uh, far off. Yeah. So, so the view will be maintained, uh, it will be changed a bit. Though, but they have to do that for if they want to live in a better uh, commuting sort of uh, region here. Yeah. You're right, Mumbai has done this before, uh, albeit on the eastern suburbs. So the eastern freeway from VT to Chembur, uh, extending up to Thane uh, on the flyover and uh, the Palm Beach Road which connects to it, was a project, was an ambitious project. And to be quite honest, uh, areas of Chembur and Vadala, uh, the rates, uh, the, the, the real estate prices did go up. Uh, however, there are some more factors. Uh, uh, there was a, a west-east corridor for the first time built up, the Santa Cruz Chembur Link Road, which uh, contributed to that. There was a mono rail which came up from Chembur to Vadala. So coincidentally, three things came up. So it's difficult to pinpoint what, which one particular sort of led to the real estate prices, but you're right. Uh, Chembur and Vadala real estate prices did go up. We saw some increase in Palm Beach Road as well. Uh, so so uh, there has been a uh, sort of a, uh, a precedent in the past where real estate prices have gone up. However, remember, it was again in the boom time. Uh, so it was coinciding with a good time of the economy as well. And currently real estate is in doldrums. So in the long run, as I said in the beginning, uh, that the re-rating will happen in some way. Uh, to what extent and over what period we will see.